because my brake is about three inches wide, there are some bends I cannot um, use it for, such as the ones that are within about an inch and a half of each other. So I have to do some creative clamping here in order to bend those. But where I can, I use the brake to make any bends that I can. It's easier than having to do this creative clamping and bending. Here I'm taking this piece to the back side of the table because I have to bend it in such a way that it's going to wrap under the table and I didn't have the room on the, the short side. Um, and then I went to go move my camera and show the bend and apparently I lost the footage. So here it is complete and I'm realizing at this time that um, because I use such 16 gauge material that it's just not quite stout enough. So I cut these pieces out on the CNC machine, apparently didn't record it and they need to be mirrors of each other so I just put them in opposite and bent them up at the same time and these will be welded onto the sides now if you pay careful attention um, when I go to weld on the next piece you'll see me actually make a cut in it um, that's just to make things fit a little nicer
I was actually about worried about it not being stout enough to hold all that paint. But putting these sides on made all the difference. And where I folded the end backwards, I've got an eighth inch of material that I'm going through right here. So to make that make sense, see how I have bent this tab? Because that tab is bent up here in addition to this piece, that's why I've got an eighth of an inch. This is actually holding on well. I mean, if my kids try to do a pull up from it, it's not gonna hold, but it'll bend because it's just 16 gauge material. But I didn't want it to stick out any further than this. I guess I have it sticking out maybe an inch further or something, but I figured this real estate is already taken up by this rack below, so if I can just keep it in here, I can do well. Problem is, is I need to build about one or two more of these. Okay, here it is, 48 cans. And I still need more, but I think uh, what I can do is I can actually see what I've got out here and just keep some of my spares in the, in the buckets until I use them and then I'll try to keep uh, my quantity to fit in this area. This second one came out a bit better. It's a little bit more square. Um, I had a little bit more, I, I bent most of it much easier except for one final bend. It was this one right here. I ended up having to cut this area right here a little bit, bend it by hand and then I just uh, stitch it, stitched it back with some welds. Um, but it did come out more square. I put it up against this one and I decided since uh, they're gonna share the stud right here in between them, um, I would just go ahead and tack them. So I, I threw a few tacks on this here. I'm gonna probably throw a couple on the bottom now that I know it's working well. And then um, it'll come off actually as one unit. If I ever need to, I can cut these tacks. I won't weld it very much, just, just a few tacks. And then I can separate them and, and do them layered if I ever move. and. Um, take these with me, which I would I would definitely do that if I moved so I decided to create a third one because I have so many cans and honestly This still isn't enough can storage This one um, Everything that could go wrong went wrong Somewhere and I'm not sure where while cutting this out in the CNC the motors skipped and so when I ended up cutting this, it ended up coming, coming out three and a quarter inches short. Um, things did not come out square. I ended up bending this in the wrong direction on one area. It looked like it got hit by a truck. All of these things, these smaller, thinner areas here with all these holes for these cans kind of got all warped. Um, yeah, it just went wrong left and right and, and everything. I patched it. Um, it's good enough for what it is. I might maybe I'll need to try to stiffen this up a little bit because it is a little weaker now since it that, that patch, but it holds it just fine, honestly. Um, you can't tell much of a difference. I just know everything that went wrong with it. So anyway, there we got 72 cans if I calculated that right. Well, here they are, 72 cans. Doesn't quite fill up. I, I have more cans than I do available slots here, but as I can actually see what I have now, as I use these, the duplicate stuff, I'll, I'll open up room. A lot of this stuff, the glitter stuff, that all gets used around Christmas time when I make stuff. That's the only reason I have so much of that. But it, I didn't even know I had this many primers. I have four primers. Didn't know I had all that. Um, I had more of these deep blue, which is this color, than I thought. I had my daughter go to the store the other day and she picked up a few cans for me and 
and I didn't realize I had a few cans sitting around. So it'll be good to see what I've got here. These holes are actually big enough to hold map gas, barely. But as I get room, I may put one of these over there too.